this is what we focus on. We want to look at your technical and managerial experience. What have you done before? We want to see your past record. That demonstrates the ability to perform future projects. We focus on financial statements. We want to know that you have real, reliable numbers on your in-house financial statements, or if you have a bookkeeper or a CPA, prepare your financial statements. What type of resources, financial resources do, do you have on your financial statement? We look at your net quick, we look at your net worth, and your debt to net worth ratio. What type of credit resources do you have with your bank, your suppliers, and other factors? And in your credit history, your bond agency will both look at your business and your credit, your personal credit history. Now what is working capital? That's the most important factor that we look at today. It measures your ability to meet current and future financial obligations during the year. We calculate that number from your balance sheet and we take your cash that's on the balance sheet. We take your accounts receivable that are within 90 days, anything over 90 days we discount, and half of your inventory less your total current liabilities, and that equals working capital. And you always want to maximize that number with preparing your financial statements. Notice not long-term liabilities. Nope, we're talking short-term, current, due, with, due within one year or usable with one, one, within one year. That's why we only take half of the inventory that you have on your balance sheet. Normally you don't turn over a lot of inventory within one year. Sometimes you do, and if you can demonstrate that you're able to do that, we can consider your full amount of inventory. It's important to establish bank support whether you think you'll need it or not. It's become even more important now because we also allow bank light of credit, credit availability towards working capital. Maybe you don't have any working capital. Maybe you have deficit working capital. It's hard times these days. So we do take available bank line and add that to your working capital position. So it's important to establish and maintain a good banking relationship. Now the SBA has what's called an express loan. I don't handle that on my end, but the other side does. It finances short-term working capital needs. It's 350 maximum revolving line of credit, which is a nice amount. It's 50% guaranteed to the bank, so that's nice. They have a 36-hour turnaround time, and if you're interested in that program, you should contact your local SBA guaranteed lender to apply. Now your credit history is always investigated by the bond agency. Don't be afraid. The important thing is to obtain your credit report in advance so that you know what's on there and that you're able to answer any questions that the bond agency has. You're going to need to explain it, you're going to need to clear it, or you're going to need to pay it. One thing that's very important to know about what are the bonding costs is you're going to need to include these items in your bid estimate. And the project owner expects to pay for it. Everybody else is doing the same thing. You're not going to be any more competitive because you have a bond because everybody's being required to have the bond. Now your average bond premium is between two and two and a half percent of the contract price. Now this is for contractors coming to the SBA. Now maybe you already have some bond credit. Maybe you're paying one percent, half percent, three percent, five percent. Normally with the SBA the bond premium that you're paying to the surety is between two and two and a half percent of the contract price. Now the SBA fee is $7.29 per thousand dollars of the contract price and there's an example there if you have a hundred thousand dollar contract the SBA fee will be seven hundred and twenty nine dollars. So your average total bond cost will be between two and three percent and that's again included in the price of your bid. Other costs that are associated in your bid how much is it going to cost for a CPA prepared financial statement? How much is it going to cost for your bank line of credit? Our mission is to provide surety bond guarantee assistance for new and existing small businesses in partnership with our surety companies and their bond agents. The SBA guarantee allows these firms to obtain surety bonds which would otherwise not be available. And that is what we do. As, as a matter of fact, you would be ineligible for the SBA guarantee if you were able to get bonding through a standard market. We've been doing this since 1972. We give a guarantee of 80% or 90% allowing the bond company to issue the bond due to the, their reduced risk. Now we give a 90% guarantee for 8A contractors, hub zone contractors, minority contractors, veteran owned and service disabled firms, and all contracts not exceeding $100,000. And everything else is the 80% guarantee. We do startups, which is really unusual. Most surety companies are not interested in startups. We provide bonding for startups all the time. 
and businesses uh, that have been, a, been in business less than three years. Uh, we provide assistance for contractors that have limited resources for cash, working capital, and net worth. Maybe you've had some recent losses. We see that all the time because it's really prevalent in these days. Maybe you've had a limited track record in the past jobs that you've done and you want to do something larger. Maybe you've had no public works experience. And then we also provide uh, guarantees for small, small businesses who want to increase their current bond limits or maybe you have some credit issues.